Um, that sounds like something out of a novel. Is it, is it true that there are people who really believe that having Israel unified under, I mean, having Jerusalem unified under total Israeli control will bring on the end times? Well, yes, Joy, you know, I come from a fundamentalist evangelical background, and I grew up in the 50s and 60s. I'm 65, and when I was a child, this was the gospel end times version of reality that my parents believed in and many other evangelicals. And, you know, you mentioned Sheldon Adelson and his wife Miriam, who are big donors, and they actually shoveled $83 million into the 2016 Republican coffers, and they did it because they wanted to see this happen. They wanted to see Jerusalem recognized. They wanted to see the two-state policy buried. Uh, Adelson has many times said that this would be the destruction of Israel to have two states essentially turn the Palestinians into uh, uh, people ruled by an apartheid state. But one thing you didn't mention was that another person who's worked very hard for this is John Hagee, who is the minister of a megachurch in Houston. And when this news came out, he said, uh, President Trump, when I spoke to him in the White House about this several weeks ago, he said this very emphatically. He said, other presidents have failed you, John, but I will not disappoint the Christian community. So essentially, when you look at this, it was nothing to do with the Middle East or peace or Palestinian rights or any of the difficulties that have presented themselves to responsible American political leaders and world leaders. This was all about what we're so familiar with, with Donald Trump and his nepotistic plan, throwing a little red meat to supporters, to big donors. And so whether it's uh, Adelson, whether it's John Hagee uh, representing these folks, this is what it's all about.